Well, this Friday on the Indiana State Fair Free Stage, the Beach Boys at 7.30 p.m. with special guest John Stamos. Saturday on the Free Stage, Latino Fest at 7.30, presented by Radio Latina. And Sunday, Gospel Music Festival on the Free Stage at 7.30, featuring Hezekiah Walker. Randy, you still out there at the fair somewhere? All right, Nathan, we are live at the Pioneer Village, and um, with me right here, I have Alan Washburn and also Jeff Foyer. And guys, you, you do a lot of demonstrations out here at the Pioneer Village, don't you? Absolutely. We have a lot of fun out here. We learn as much from the people that are here as we hope they learn from us. Okay. You said you learned something earlier today, right? Oh, it's, a, it's always amazing that the people come up and say, Granddad did, or my great-grandfather yeah, had, yeah. and all of a sudden, we've got more that we can add into the show. Okay, well, tell us what we have going on right here. What is this? This is a groundhog. A groundhog thrasher. This was patented at first in the 1830s. You know, as time went along, uh, farmers figured out they had to have better ways of doing things than sure. just doing them by hand. So this, this is a small threshing machine. It does the same thing that a larger thing machine does. They stick the wheat plants down in there. It pulls the seed head off, separates the seed from the seed head, and drops the seed down below. So okay. big improvement in efficiency, and that's a lot of what Indiana agriculture, the story is, yeah. is improving its efficiency over time. And so when people come out here, they can, you ask for volunteers, is that right? We ask kids to come up and we volunteer threshing the wheat by hand, the seed in, in the palm of their hands. So we get volunteers at our shows at 10, 2, and 4, and then after that, we talk, you know, instead of doing things by hand, there was a lot of invention, inventing going on and that kind of thing. So but then we get into the groundhog thresher and then the fanning mill. Yeah, well, what's over here, Alan? Tell us, what, what's the next one we're looking at? Well, as we bring the grain out of the groundhog thresher, it's a mess, as you can see by looking at this. Like me, it's a mess. I didn't say that, Randy. You did. <laughs> you had to figure out some way to separate the seed from the chaff. Yes. Many times they would use simply the wind to do that. But let's, let's say necessity being the mother of invention. Let's figure out a way to do that mechanically. So we developed the clipper fanning mill. The fanning mill created its own air. Jeff, I'll let you have that. Okay. They took the handle off of it. I'm going to stick this mic in your face. Yeah, I know you're going to. There are, there are fans in here, and he's coming up here and he can look at it. Yeah, okay. There are fans in here that would create the breeze. As we dump the grain in the top, we would create the breeze and separate grain from chaff. Okay. At that point in time, there's your grain. You ended up with a clean grain sample. Hey, we're going to keep moving. We have okay, about yep. two minutes. I know that. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're fast learning. All right, what do we have next? Steam engine and threshing machine, typically owned by one individual because it was expensive to own that all individually, farm by farm by farm. He would travel from one farm to the next, tech the machine and the steam engine with him. Steam engine here at the Red River Special, newly restored, belongs to Purdue Agri fully restored piece of equipment came uh, back to us from Millersburg, Ohio about three years ago. We're very, very proud of that machine. It incorporates everything we just talked about. It's inside. The bottom part that separates the grain, chaff, and straw, the grain comes out into the wagon. You can see up on top here is the groundhog thresher. That piece would actually turn at that particular point in time. Yeah, okay. Very right. important the threshing ring was in the 1920s. And of course, as we thresh, Thresh the wheat, then you end up with a straw pile. So we have a hay press down there to bale the straw. That's the red machine down there. That's the one minute they're saying. So you, do, you bale the straw. Then we chop some corn into fodder. We also come back there at the corn crib to you know, explain about picking corn versus shelling corn. Okay. And then we end up with the, with the sawmill, with a really nice steam engine driving our sawmill. People can come out and purchase lumber if they want lumber. And uh, and we also use the lumber here in the Pioneer Village. Okay, so that's the uh, steam engine over there. Exactly right. Different, a little different size, a little different brand and name, but still the process is still the same, Randy. Okay, and uh, you have your uh, your shows out here real quick. We have like 30 seconds. What what are the uh, times of your presentation? We'll do another show at two o'clock this afternoon and at four o'clock this afternoon. And anybody that's here on the fairgrounds, we'd love to see you. We can make them human threshing machines. We made you a human milking machine one time, Randy. Did I win it? I think at one time you did. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. <laughs> That's not what he said here before. You, know, well, <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you, yeah, you slammed me before. No, I did not. Randy won a couple of times, and then he was beaten by the first lady. Yes, well, I had to let the first lady win. So, hey, we've had a great time out here.